Thanks for joining us today. We're super pumped. Uh, she's been one of my favorite people that's come through uh, these studios the past few years. Give it up for Tove Lowe. We love Tovlo. Welcome back. Thank you. It's been a couple years. I know. How have you been? I've How been you know? good. Good. Yeah, <laughs> we've had a lot of uh, cool guests come by throughout the years here in Philadelphia, but you are one of my favorites. Oh, thank one, you. One of the most like sincere, <laughs> realist people. I always have a blast talking to you. It's like talking thank to an old friend. You. Oh, same. I try to keep it real. <laughs> and when to I be myself. <laughs> I always kick off all of my interviews by drinking out of my Tovlo flask. Oh. Pretty yeah. good, yeah. I always, I always kick off. Doesn't matter who I'm talking to. Like you're talking to Big Sean. I don't know. I'm, I'm drinking my Tovlo flask. You're like, this is what you should be giving. Mm. <laughs> Relax, guys. It's, it's only vodka. It's okay. It's only vodka. Nice. Uh, you actually sent out like a whole Tovlo breakup kit. It was pretty I cool. I did. What was yeah. in there? There's like a, a notebook. Uh, obviously the flask. There's um, the flask. There's a notebook when you can, you know, write about. Write down things about your ex that were, you know, bad about them or something. And there's a little voodoo doll. So if you're really angry, you can just stick little needles. My fiance <laughs> took that. That's in her <laughs> office. I'm a little fearful of what she's doing with that right now. You just get like a fierce Nick pain. Yeah. Like, oh, what's a that? kick in between Where's the legs. From? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, a little card, like a greeting card with some, uh, you know, inspirational words <laughs> and yeah, the song adorable. playing. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> No, it's just so nice to have you have you back. We saw you on Stephen Colbert. That was an amazing performance. Thank you. You guys um. saw that? Yeah, it was super cool. <laughs> yeah, What's that whole process like? Um, TV is, like, pretty special. You, like, show up kind of early in the morning, and you, um, like, run through the song a few times. You get to, like, um, you know, kind of practice a performance, see this, do, you know, the stage setup that you want to do and stuff, and then they do camera angles and like, oh, you know, try and look into this camera at this time, and you kind of work with their team and figure out, you know, the best possible way to, because you get one chance, you know, and then um, when that's done, it's like kind of a lot of hours of waiting and getting ready, and then when it's showtime, it's like, go. You, yeah, you have to like nail it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's intense. Yeah, I was mainly nervous about making sure I was saying like the clean version because <laughs> that <laughs> can get you into trouble sometimes if you don't. <laughs> I love that. Now, when you're away and you're you're writing and you're putting together your next piece of work and and you're kind of noticing who's out there on the radio currently, who are your favorites? Uh, who have you been going to lately? I guess for inspiration. I know that you like Billie Eilish, right? That's yeah, what, yeah, one you she's like? so cool. Yeah, I've been to a few of her shows and I just think she's um. It's been really cool to witness because it's like such a like devotion and kind of like, um, you know, she really speaks to a generation and like fans that they just like they just click in a way. And I think um, just her and her brother, has a, they just have a very beautiful way with words. Um, She's 17. Yeah. I know. I that's mean, that's stupid. I don't. Like I wish I was that cool at seventeen. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that's I can't. I can't even imagine that. I think I was. I was uh, scooping ice cream up at Friendly's when I was seventeen, and and she I was the working at a bakery. Were you really? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. And she's like the biggest thing in the world. It's nuts. Now, are you are you friends with her? Um, I mean, I don't know her that well. I've met her gotcha. sometimes, but she's super sweet to me when I meet her. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, hi. For sure. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> 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 just standing her. Yeah, just standing and staring. Yeah. No, no, but she's super nice. Yeah. Is there other other influences? Like when you, when you sit down and, and you're like, okay, what do I want to say in this album? You know, are there other pieces that you pull? I feel like, um, I mean, I pull so much from my life that I think it's very subconsciously if there's like, you know, any kind of, you know, vibe that trickles in. But I'm a huge Robin fan. I just went and saw her show. Um in New York, and it was fantastic. It was just like a big dance party. It was so beautiful, and she's always been a big inspiration. Um, and yeah, I think just like all the women around me really inspire me a lot. I love the way you write because I feel like every song I hear from you, you really illustrate everything. Like you, you put me in the moment. Is that? Oh, thank you. Is that <laughs> done like on purpose? Like you really want to illustrate it? Like I yeah, really, I, I really see the details in your writing. I, I love that. I love that. Um, thank you. <laughs> no, I think that really. I mean, I s when I was younger, my teachers would say like, "You're going to be an author. Like that's your writer. That's what you're going to be doing." And it wasn't uh, like I found music a little bit later. So I think for me to like paint a picture is really important. Yeah. Is there anything off limits when it comes to writing, or are you open? But I know you're very open in interviews and a lot of mm -hmm. your music as well. But is there anything off limits when it comes to your album? I think, um, yeah, I think maybe writing, like calling people out, like making you know, 
I feel like even though I write about, you know, past loves and like emotions, I write it from me and like what I, it's like my experience and what I went through in it. I I feel like I don't like call people out in that way, I think. I think that's from like, I wouldn't like name names or anything. Right. I think that's like, like if you date a songwriter, you know, you're going to end up in a song. That's just <laughs> right. how it is. It's just the way it is. They should know that by <laughs> now. Songs by have now. been a yeah. thing for a while. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> but I think my, like making sure that, you know, um, I guess it changes if you date someone famous, then it becomes a little bit more like, you know, everybody knows right, <laughs> what you're right. talking about. But, but you're not yeah. going to name drop them. You're <laughs> no, not going to exactly. ruin their summer. No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I always wondered this about, because like, you're a true songwriter, and I always wondered, is your biggest fear as a songwriter to not have any more to say? Is it a, is it a yeah, fear of yours? Or, or is your arsenal always full? No, literally before every album, I'm like, I have nothing more to say. I said everything. I usually, well, it was kind of, since I released like Ladywood and Blue Lips so close together, mm -hmm. I um, it was very like... After Blue Lips, I was so drained of like, because I was making the album and touring during that. So I was just like, I'm so sick of myself. I don't want to think about m my feelings and my <laughs> life even for a minute. Like I need a break from for me in my head. So I started writing with other artists for a bit, and that kind of made it like, it was relaxing for me to like. So what are you? What are you thinking about? Where is your heart? Like, what's your you know? From a different vantage point. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. And then after a while, you know, after kind of like living for a bit and doing that, I was like, ooh, I have inspiration again. But yeah, it was very much like, what else can I say? I don't know. What's next? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, what's next? <laughs> and I love uh, the album coming out this fall is called Sunshine Kitty, right? Yeah. What, oh, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I love the name. I got four cats, so I was like, this hits home. This is great. <laughs> oh, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what's the meaning behind that, Sunshine Kitty? Um, it's kind of a funny story of like, me sort of realizing that it's a happier album than th than the past ones, and also um, like there's definitely still some like vulnerable, heartfelt songs on there because it's just part of me. But but I think yeah, in general, it just has like me maybe a like, more hopeful tone, and also like it was kind of a play on <laughs> power, um, and. It's also the like the last kind of like <laughs> inspiration behind it was this episode of Girls where Lena Dunham talks about how this author like lays out and like tans her because <laughs> she wants to soak up the energy and glow from the sun and that gives her the glow on her face and so I was like that's really cool that's like a very <laughs> she's like <laughs> getting the power of the sun you know <laughs> so I, I thought that was that. really awesome yeah so <laughs> when you when you go in to record this album. Um, since you've had all these, you know, big uh, hits on the radio, like talking about Habits is honestly like the last ten years of pop music. Habits is like up there for me. That song Thank is you. so brilliant, so good. Thank you so much. So when you go in to record your your you know new album, do you think okay, I need like two or three songs for radio. I need two or three songs for me. Like, what's that thought process like? Is it none of that? Is it more organic? I don't. I have no idea about that until like I sit down and kind of start playing it for people. Like play it for my publisher and my label and like the people that I have around me that I work with. And then I can kind of tell which one hits home and the more like this will like re resonate with more people. Um, also, we can say this title on radio <laughs> and stuff like that, which has been a problem in the past. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like kind of a, a song that is like will be more available. And then there's like, uh, but I usually, yeah, I don't really know. I can't really tell that stuff. I just kind of, you, you know. Just, you just write the. You just yeah, write I the just music. write. I and just you guys write, can yeah. do whatever you know what you want with yeah, it. I'm yeah, I'm kind of like, which one do you want to go with first? Like, I can have like a feeling of like I would want to start with this one, but then when it comes to like you know taking it to radio and kind of you know um, making it the single, then then yeah, then I'm like I don't know. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's up to you. I don't up know. Up to you guys, yeah. And uh, Glad He's Gone is the first single. We loving it. The song is so good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so much fun. Thank you. Uh, congrats on it. And Thank tell me you. how that specific song came about. It's it's definitely really fun. Like, I laughed out loud yeah. when I first heard the, the <laughs> hook. I, it's really, really great. <laughs> it is. It, there had to be some uh, some versions of that one, too, obviously. <laughs> uh, but, but no, I, I was writing with um, uh, some of my Swedes from, from my um, songwriting collective that I'm signed to. And we... We were in Sweden. There was, like, a really dark, snowy January day. And... 
don't know. Um, Johan, one of the producers, had uh, one of the writers had sent me like the guitar riff like over Christmas, and I was like, "This sounds really cool. Like I like this," and kind of new for me and stuff. And and then when we were in the studio, we I was just kind of you know riffing on melodies and doing that. Na, 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 na. You know, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little tired of my voice. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and he he was like, "Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool." And then I just kind of started like. Words just started with like he's done and then he's gone and then like oh it feels like you know it feels kind of like a breakup song but I'm like I'm not going through that right now so I'm kind of in but you know and it just kind of I'd been to Sweden so I'd seen a lot of the girlfriends that I grew up with like the girl like crew that I used to hang out with and so they were like on my mind and I was like all the times that we would give each other that speech when someone was dating a fuckboy or just some idiot and just ha the, the, all the times I've been given that speech and the times I've given it to just like you know get each other out of a shitty situation yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so yeah that's just kind of clicked the inspiration and then kind of describing those like situations it's yeah it's, it's, a, it's an <laughs> anthem it's like a powerful yeah. anthem yeah. <laughs> but it's also really really funny it's great yeah and you're gonna perform that one for us right and a yeah, few others I am. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Tove Lo. This is so cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to uh, take my flask. Enjoy your 